Our next guest joining us here in Berlin at IFA has a lot to do with a lot of cool products, accessory items, keyboards, uh, mice, uh, gaming things, headsets, lots of neat stuff. The Associate Director for Product Marketing with Razer is Hilmar Hahn. Hilmar, welcome into tomorrow. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you because you're showing a lot of stuff here yep. at IFA, as one would expect, a company like Razer always having some cool things. Uh, what's getting the most attention? What are you showing at IFA? All right. So we have three products that we have just announced yesterday morning at the first day of IFA. So this just in. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or just out, as it were. Yeah. And uh, we have a theme for these, and we're, we're calling it Raise the Level Cap. Uh, it's all about gaming, obviously. And uh, what we mean by that is we took the most popular uh, families of products that we have um, and basically overhauled the entire feature set and technology to bring them into 2018 to get um, the most uh, value to gamers out there. Ah, very good. So um, uh, just to kick it off, we have, um, uh, of course, our most popular gaming headset, which is called the Razer Kraken. And this year's edition is called the Razer Kraken Tournament Edition. The Razer Kraken yeah, that's Tournament right. Edition. Wow, and these are some nice, hefty headphones, too. Uh, no doubt something a gamer would definitely enjoy. Absolutely. So th these are all about, um, uh, number one, the audio experience, the audio customization that you can do with that, as well as the comfort level that we're providing for very long gaming sessions. Man, these, this uh, extendable microphone looks like it's almost as good as our very expensive Sennheiser broadcasting mics here. Yeah, and, <laughs> I mean, the goal is that you can play with your friends and in, in tournament situations where you need a lot of uh, coordination as you're playing the game. Yeah. Uh, so you want to be connected to your teammates as well as maybe a coach as well. Um, so this is why the microphone is a, a very integral part of that headset. That's true. You want them to hear if it's an order or a command or I'm coming around the corner cover me, whatever the case, right? Yep. Uh, so audio becomes very important as well, and you don't want lag time, you don't want somebody saying, what? You know, <laughs> they, yep. They've got to hear you, which also explains why you have such such good quality headset here, too. I right, mean, so the know, ear cushions actually have a very uh, unique thing that which, which we call um, cooling gel ear cushions. Uh, it means that we have a special uh, memory foam in there that's even denser than normal memory foam, and they actually keep your ears cool uh, for a lot longer time than regular um, memory foam ear cushions. We should be using these under these hot TV lights yeah. all day yeah. for six days here at IFA. <laughs> so that's pretty wild. Right. And it actually does then keep your ears, your head cool yeah. so while you're using because you're gaming sometimes for a whole weekend. <laughs> sure, yeah. Come, come on now, take a break. But <laughs> still, <laughs> the fact is you can be really competitive in these tournaments for hours and hours. Absolutely, yeah. So that's why we made it. Um, and then moving on, uh, perhaps here to the keyboard that we sure. have, which is our Razer Black Widow Elite mechanical keyboard. Wow. So the unique thing about that is um, it is uh, an entirely mechanical key uh, infrastructure uh, or structure here. Oh. Um, and Razer, we make these uh, mechanical switches ourselves. Uh, so we manufacture the switches, um, and we're able to innovate in uh, in terms of what we offer in the switches as well. So for this year, we have these side walls that you see um, on the left and right side of the switch. And for those listening on the radio yet to see the video, mm -hmm. know you can visit intotomorrow.com, <laughs> see the video of all these cool things that Hilmar is talking about, and all of our guests from IFA again this year. We've got a multi-camera shoot, and uh, in this case, I'm holding it up for the camera, he popped one of the keys off to mm -hmm. show us the, the tech underneath them, right? Yeah, that's right. So we, we really do focus on uh, even the component level um, things that we do with our products, not just the uh, the outside uh, um, you know, flashy lights and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, so these switches are extremely stable and durable. Uh, so they, they last over years um, and they don't degrade um, over time. So you can expect the, the same level of consistency that you have um, from the day one out of box. And what's cool as we're showing it on cameras, I noticed the keyboard back lighting is changing various colors so you can select whatever you want yeah. or, or probably let it keep going if you just like a lot of variety. So yeah, it's, it's fully customizable in terms of every single switch on the keyboard. You can have a different light if you so choose. We call that Razer Chroma um, oh, and wow. the, it has a unified um, configuration software which you go into and uh, actually customize all of the lights, all of the functionality of the uh, switches, what kind of macros you want to have there, uh, special shortcuts in games. Um, all of that is freely customizable. Wow, I I'm thinking, you know, video editing too. If yeah, you could absolutely. customize yeah. a keyboard yeah. to that detail, video editing, uh, you know, photo Chris editing, is probably paying attention, saying, "Well, something like that would be really cool." You can do Excel uh, macros and all that oh, on there. Yeah. So it's even good for professional use. Absolutely. Wow, and and I'm I'm curious now that unfortunately Chris moved away, but he didn't know I was going to ask this question. What's this wheel for on the side here? So it's a multifunction. 
function digital dial. So uh -huh. by default, it does, it does volume up and down when you're listening to uh, music or something like uh -huh. that. But you can configure that to, for example, zoom in and out. Uh, you can scroll up and down. Um, so it's it's very customizable again. again. Customizable. So awesome. whatever your need is, and I'm, I'm using my thumb here, you can do whatever, mm -hmm. and just raise and lower volume or whatever you've assigned it to. Right. That's pretty amazing. Right. And, what, and what is this keyboard called again? This is the Razor Black Widow Elite. The Razor Black Widow Elite. Yeah, so. Loving the names. And of course, a nice uh, pad here, too. Yeah, wrist the, the wrist pad. rest, uh, yeah. magnetically attachable, so you can game in comfort uh, for hours on end. Oh, no doubt. Available now, and for how much? Available now, 169 uh, US dollars. Okay. Um, Man, for all that it does, <laughs> that yeah. seems very reasonable. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. And uh, was there something else we so wanted to show? Yeah, last yes. but not least. I, I was hiding. Our newest wireless gaming mouse. The newest wireless gaming mouse. And that one's called called Razer Mamba Wireless. Wow. Uh, basically, um, uh, a very high battery life, 50 hours on a single charge, and a very uh, high performance optical sensor there So all of your, um, uh, for all of your gaming needs, accuracy, um, and also fully customizable in terms of the lights and in terms of the buttons, uh, layouts, and all that. Man, that's pretty cool. And available now and selling for what? Available uh, right now for $99. Okay. Right. Ah, again, for all it does, you want to certainly grab all of those. Razer, R-A-Z-E-R dot com for more information. Hilmar, thank you for spending a few minutes with us. Thanks so much. I, I know you're getting a lot of attention, rightly so, here at IFA. We'll let you get back to your busy exhibit. Thank you. My pleasure. Be sure to join us at intotomorrow.com where we will link you to Hilmar's site and all of our guests here at IFA. And, of course, Razer. R A Z E R dot com. I'm Dave Graveline bringing you further into tomorrow right here on the Advanced Media Network. Don't go away, there's much more to come from Berlin, Germany.